<laughs> Let's talk about Division Three analysis of that uh, bracket has been kind of similar over the past couple of years because <laughs> one team has managed to get a number one seed quite often. Yeah, they get the number one seed and they show that they're number one in the state. And a lot of people wonder, you know, are, are they going to do it three years in a row? It's going to be a fun postseason in D3. That team we're talking about, West Sapir. We know of some notable turnover for the Phantoms. They lost their star quarterback, Jake Tollison, but really, they haven't slowed down. You see the running attack's been key this year. They've been able to do it in all three phases of the game. They have, and I, I think if West Sapir wins it again this year, it's going to be their defense. This is nothing against their offense. They're still scoring points, but their defense, their offense isn't as dynamic, which makes the defense have to do more. But this defense can do more. They got, they're got loaded on the defensive side of the ball, and it won't be easy to score on them. We, we've seen them make special teams plays yep. as well. I know uh, yeah. we've, we've seen them go. You know, their offense has got on the field with already a 20-point lead. It's, yep. it's impressive what this team can do. Another one seed, Wapaka. Maybe they don't get the same kind of headlines, Doug, as West Sapir does. Comets, perfect regular season. They get Rhinelander in the first round of the playoffs. Yep, Wapaka's winning each game by an average of 27 a game. Mm. Steam through the Eastern Valley. Sam Menji's a dual threat quarterback, runs it, throws it. This is a team in level three or level level four, the state semifinal, if you want to call it, that might give West Appear a big, big problem. You, you see Menzies running right there. When you got a quarterback who can make plays like that, you're never going to be out of the game. Let's take a look at those brackets. It's going to be West Appear, their their uh, unwilling victim in first round. It's going to be Anago. Sorry guys. Good luck. Menasha and Two Rivers is your 4-5 matchup. Seymour, hey, Seymour hung with West Appear. Look out there. Marinette, the seven seed. Doug, hey, Seymour, they hung with West Sapir a couple weeks ago. Could be a level three matchup also. Look up Menasha. They're usually in D2. They play in the VFA North, South. They might get West Sapir. You might give them a little problem there in level two. A team that's used to that competition. Yes. Could be interesting. Hey, it's not going to be a cakewalk uh, for West Sapir towards State, but we know that they have that experience. And and what really, Doug, let's keep looking at some more brackets. Sorry, going ahead. This is what Packer, they're taking on Rhinelander and then Rice Lake and West Salem. That's what's standing in the Comets way. Yeah, well, Packer doesn't play in the area, so they got pushed out. They're going to be tough to knock out of there. We don't know a lot about those other teams, but we know Wapaka is good. Absolutely. And knowing Wapaka and West Appear, is this a collision course with these two teams, or are there some roadblocks in the way? Um, on the Wapaka side, I'll say yes. I don't want to anger any <laughs> local teams, but you know, I've said it this year, unless West Appear gets beat, I'm not picking them to lose. So I'm going to keep picking them to win, picking them to win. So I think you see Wapaka, West Appear. And I'm going to that game. I'm just going to tell you right now. Will be a fun one to watch. <laughs> All right, let's go to Division Four now. Two area teams are squaring off in Level One. We'll start with Chilton, Doug, part of a three-way tie in the OP Large with Brilliant and Wrightstown. Good company. Yeah, this is a really, really interesting bracket. A really, really interesting first game for Chilton. They get a six and two Freedom team, and I, I think that might be one of the toughest games for a one seed in this whole in this whole tournament. That's going to be. About. It's going to be really interesting with Freedom there. You know, they got a new coach in there. It's Clint Prewalt. He's a guy originally from Shyockton. Got his defense playing real well, as you're going to see right here. Prewalt, nine seasons in the NFL as a linebacker for the Steelers and Lions, as his Irish coming off a six one season, feeling good. I'm not going to take any any credit for any of that. That's it's a group effort. If if you know if we lose and the things don't go right, I'll take that blame. Then that's my fault because I didn't see something that maybe wasn't done right. But if we win, man, that's a that's a group effort. It's not me. And uh, we have a blast so far. I mean, it's eight games flew by like that. It's it's been a fun season. Absolutely. Well, he's playing the NFL too. He, he knows what's going on. Well, another team that knows what's up. Hey, Little Shoot. Just one loss on the season. They get a two seed. Last three weeks for the Mustangs, Doug, scored at least 48 points. Not bad. Not bad. Usually they score like they do that in basketball with Turner Botts <laughs> and Kenny Lowe. Now they're doing it on the football field. This is definitely a team to watch. A team to watch. They got a lot of talent out there. They got a good fan base. They are a two seed. Let's take a look at some brackets. You got Children Freedom, man. Freedom with a loss to Winnicani in week eight drops down to an eight seed. Then you have Winnicani facing Marshall, Sturgeon Bay and Wrightstown, followed by Amro and Little Shoot. Little Shoot, they're getting Amro in the first round. Yeah, you got Chilton, you got Little Shoot, you got um, Wrightstown here, Winnicani, watch out for them too. Absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit about Wrightstown, kind of a sneaky three seed, Doug, coming off a state championship, and they have that experience to draw upon. Yeah, you know, they don't have the same guys as last year. Jordan mm -hmm. Fox, uh, or Jackson Fox, Jordan Johnson are gone. Riley Schuessler has run wild this year. They still got the same, you know, method of getting it done, and they get it done. Wrightstown, no one wants to see Wrightstown in their bracket. No, same same coaches as well, Absolutely. which helps going in the playoffs.